but they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Bengals going for it. Here's Dalton. He's going to sling this deep. And that is intercepted by the Pro Bowl quarterback, Denzel Ward. And a super return as he gets us all the way down inside the 25-yard line. Well, you're trailing. It's the fourth quarter, and you've got to throw the football. But the defense knows this, too. So they're just going to sit back, bring in an extra defensive back or two, the old nickel or dime strategy, Brandon, and wait for you to put that bad boy up for grabs. And this one winds up being intercepted. Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. They'll run on first down. Brown breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. And he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Jim Brown, his second touchdown of the night as the Ravens push further out in front. So they start this game just like they won. Opening drive touchdown, a nice run there to finish it off. Yeah, that's what we call an explosive run because of the distance. And being able to do that, that puts a little uncertainty in the minds of your opponent. Tucker to add the PAT. And that one makes this a 19-point game. So that about as lengthy a drive as you're ever going to see. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Fairly short kick, taking it at the 14 here. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it go. up past the 30. Here we go. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got into a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. <laughs> you love pressure. I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Andy Dalton now. Five straight completions here in this second half. First and ten. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. Tyler Boyd, the former Pitt Panther, was the target. But it'll be second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. So Dalton now. To the left side here for Eifert. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 42. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Dalton, first and 10. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Down under two minutes to go in this football game. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Here's Dalton. Got a man open. It's Ross. That throw good for four. It's second down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Looking to throw again on second down. Dalton. John Ross the one he was looking for. 